Hi guys, welcome to my rat's cage tour. This isn't a requested video, but I thought I'd do it. Only a few things have changed, but that's about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> on with the vid. Yo. So yeah, here they've got their Sputnik as usual. Uh, that's where the stick and nut you is. Yeah, they've had a proper good gnaw on that, if you can see. Just there, they've, they're really like that. So I might be getting another one of them. I've bought nearly every toy that you see in pets at home from the woodland right in the and the bird toys, so I think I might just have to buy repeats. So here they've got their dog toy from Poundland, which they love. Um Dumbo actually swings on this and then jumps onto the hammock. Hey baby. Here they've got their bark and beak bird toy. I don't know if you can see, there's little, little pieces that they nibbled, but they don't seem to bother with this much. Um, so yeah, that's quite unusual for them. <laughs> they seem to bother with every single toy. Quite a lot of people online say that, that, rat, that their rats don't bother with this. Even mine don't, not really. Might just be where it is, so I might have to move that. So here's their new hammock that I made them. There's flower print on the outside. I'm going to make them another one because they seem to be really liking this. It'll probably be a corner hammock. As you can see, it's just sewn in with this. Like that. That I made them. Only took me a few minutes. So that's a pretty easy thing to make. So I'm going to make a corner hammock for them, a few of them. And use the baby rings. I'll just attach my baby rings onto here and hook it up with the baby rings. Um, so that means I don't have to buy any more clips. The baby rings should work fine. See, so anyway, you can see that Latte loves this. He's having a really, he's getting some really good sleep in that. <laughs> Ain't you, Latte? Hello. Hello. Aww. Hello, baby. Hmm. Hmm. Cute. Is. So yeah, so can't you? And they love this. This is their climbing ladder. You can see they've had a really good chew on this. <laughs> so yeah, they seem to be really liking that. So yeah, it used to be a circle, but <laughs> it's not anymore. It's more like a teardrop. <laughs> they don't seem to be bother with bothering with the stars and things as much, but still had a little go on that. And then they've had a good chew on this rope here, if you can see that. And then a few little nibble marks on here. <laughs> but they've had a lot, a big chew on these ropes. And then on their um, shooting star bird toy, they seem to have a little bit of a gnaw on. But every little helps. I prefer to get wooden chews because... Yeah, and they seem, they've had a good go on the, the ends of these as well. Because um, they've only started fraying when I saw them chew on it. So yeah, but... That's a, I love this toy. It's not natural, but it's made out of metal and things, so it's not natural. But it's got pumice stone on, as you can see, they've chewed a whole star off here. So yeah, <laughs> I think it was a green star. They must have, and that, uh, I think it was Oreo that got that off, and he must have kept it. His teeth have been looking really good after that. That's the other half of their wheel down there, so their wheel is halfless at the moment, because my dad still needs to tape it up. It fell down last night. Yes, it's all we are. We'll see. He always sleeps on shelves, even if you buy him a little cozy, so I'll probably have to get him a, a rat bed. Rat hut. Or an igloo. Hey, all we are. <laughs> From pets at home. They've got their big um, root bridge. It goes all the way there and all the way up there. Oh, and yeah, they've got their rope spiral. <laughs> Which goes all the way down to there. So yeah, that's it. Oh, they've got their caterpillar back there. They've got a new knobbly nara, another knobbly nara. Um, they've got their um, what do you call it? Willow ball. They've got their big hat dangly charm. So that's really cute.
there's not much down here. <laughs> they've had a cage clean out and they've already messed it all up, so. Yeah, it's their food. They seem to like to eat that bedding. I don't know, they're weird. Pop some back in. I'm sure they'll get the hang of it. Mm-hmm. They've got another knob in our, um, our baby rings. And then they've got a fresh card in the cob. Um down there that they've completely eaten. Then they got their seagrass bamboo chew. So that's it for the cage tour. I hope you like it. I'll be getting more things for them um next week. So I hope you can join me in my pets at home haul for that. <laughs> So yeah, I've got I've only got five pounds to spend this time. So yeah, that's the cage tile. I'll try and give you a quick overview. That's the boring bottom because they seem to bother with things when they're up at the top. So I hope you like the cage tour. If you've got any requests, again, just let me know. And that's it. All right, guys. Thanks. Oh, and I've got that chinchilla pipe, uh, chinchilla block there. Alright, that's it. See you later.